Hello, and welcome to the inaugural edition of a new monthly video feature for Solar Power Portal. The UK market update will include interviews with key industry players as well as expert insight into the ever changing solar industry. This edition, Greg Barker makes the case for the UK to become Europe's solar capital during a speech he made at the Doing Solar Business in the UK conference at InterSolar Europe. Then, Several industry leaders describe their experiences of working in the UK, and we celebrate the upcoming Solar Power Portal Awards taking place at Solar Energy UK this October. There are three prime reasons why the UK should be the destination of choice for any solar company looking to invest in Europe. One, our domestic market has the greatest growth potential of any single market across Europe. Two, the UK has now a fully reformed, robust and fully financed support framework for renewables. Not set year on year, but now set, mindful of our need to reduce public expenditure, but now set all the way to 2020 and beyond. And third, the UK is an emerging global hub for advanced manufacturing and the UK government is determined to work in partnership with the industry to make that happen. In the UK Parliament, on a cross-party basis, we legislated to unilaterally reduce CO2 emissions by 80% from 1990 levels by 2050, and we are on course to achieve that. But to go further and to meet that ambitious target, the UK government is totally committed to building a world-class renewables industry in order to decarbonise the UK electricity sector. I see it being a very mature market and uh, that's where, certainly where we're concentrating some exciting uh, relationships um, and, and we're just at the early stages of that but people are fitting it and they're telling the story now. We're moving into the, the summer months now and it's very much um, you know, getting some fantastic returns. We're very conservative about our our um, predictions. Uh, it's just the nature of the British. Um, and at, at the moment, you know, people are over the moon with the returns they're getting. And, and we are now focusing on fitting this to reduce energy consumption in their own buildings rather than what can they get on from a feed-in tariff. It, it all started as about an investment and this is a way of making money. And I think, um, you know, it, it has to change to say this is a sensible thing to do for your business. We're now able to demonstrate very clearly that putting PV on that business's roof is going to reduce its overheads. And we're having cases where people are, um, you know, someone manufacturing a box. A box factory in the UK with PV has f more chance of winning orders against his competition in years to come with the one that doesn't. So, you know, it's as crucial as that, that people are now looking at energy and um, having to control it, and they haven't in the past. So I think selling it to a client is not all about financial um, returns and is it right, is it wrong. It's very much more now about um, you know, this is a sensible thing to do for the sake of our business. We've been in the UK for about two and a half years so far, and it's been a bit of a bumpy ride, but this year we're uh, actively developing quite a large pipeline of our own projects and we're also looking for EPC opportunities, which we've done a number of as well. So we currently have about 200 megawatts of sites either in acquisition or in planning, um, and we hope that during the next 12 months we can get a reasonable number of those built out. We take quite a long-term view. We're looking at the next couple of years, um, three, four, five years, and we're looking very much also at community projects and brownfield industrial projects as a focus area as well. I think the biggest challenges we have, and lots of people always mention it, is, uh, is grid connections and the public acceptability of larger schemes. So on the grid connection side, um, we have to be realistic and know that the grid can't digest the level of solar pro projects that we'd like to throw at it all the time, so we have to work with the DNOs and, and be consultative and constructive on that. Um, increasingly, only the best, most optimal projects will go ahead from a grid cost point of view and a location point of view. Um, so that's an important point. And on the planning side, again, it's about being very open and transparent with the local community, working with them, and if there's a real anti uh, scheme sentiment in the area, maybe just backing off and doing another scheme. So we're, we're very focused on that. UK at the moment is an interesting market. The time slot will be this year and the three months of the next year. The, the, the investment in, in the UK um, or the, in the, the, the calculation of the profit, the IRR, 
um, is different from, uh, from, for example, Central Europe. Yeah. And we, in, we always need, and that's not only for the financial um, purposes, we always need local partners. Yeah. We built that plant with local partners. Yeah. We are working as a team, it, it, uh, it fits perfectly together and uh, it's, it's real teamwork. The UK is one of the, one of the, uh, the, the, uh, the promising markets, I would say, in Europe. Um, I think if you really look at, uh, at the UK market, uh, it is clear that, uh, uh, that, uh, um, uh, that there's a need for new installations, for new energy installations. Um, there will be a gap um, uh, of some 30 gigawatts or so uh, until 2020. Uh, and it's clear that, uh, again, renewable energy is uh, really suitable to, uh, to capture a significant part of that, uh, of that gap. Uh, and within renewable energy, uh, uh, solar is, uh, is of course, um, um, uh, let's say, very interesting. I understand actually that uh, there's a tremendous support from the energy uh, ministry in, uh, in, in the UK. Uh, and, and that helps, of course, uh, very much. Uh, the UK is a stable market, a stable country. Um, it's, uh, it's low risk, uh, so also from a financial perspective, uh, very attractive. Um, the uh, return on investments are acceptable. Um, so uh, solar is really a very suitable product uh, for uh, insurance companies, for, for banks, uh, for investors uh, to invest in. And uh, we, that's also why we are looking at the UK market. Um, as one of these markets where you say, okay, this is close to home and, uh, and, and really this is something that, uh, that we would like to play a role on. I think it's a, it, it's a combination of uh, a political environment which finally recognises solar as a big player. So we've got the uh, you know, Renewable Energy Roadmap from the end of last year, which talks about 20 gigawatts of solar by 2020, which is you know, a, a significant size more, you know, 17 and a half gigawatts more than we have at the moment on, a, on roofs and, and on fields. Together with uh, a financial incentives regime that sets out clearly what we can expect for the next few years and, and to some extent beyond. There are potential hiccups along the way, you know, there's the switch from renewables obligation to uh, contracts for difference which many of us haven't properly got our heads around yet and, and won't do until, until things are, are properly finalised. But generally speaking, I think you know, the, the political, the financial aspect coming together with a, a market, a global market, which is looking for the next opportunity. And they land on, in Britain, and quite rightly so. To celebrate the continued success of the UK market, Solar Power Portal has launched its very own awards. The Solar Power Portal Awards, sponsored by Rexel, aim to recognise and promote industry best practice and will take place at this year's Solar Energy UK event in Birmingham. To nominate a project, please visit the website below. The submission deadline is the 12th of July. Rexel's very happy to be involved with the Solar Power Portal Awards. We don't always have a fair chance to sort of get together and look at the real good things that we do as an industry and certainly, you know, that, that's the main reason I think we want to be, be there, is to hard work of getting this industry up and going to get out there and actually look at the real good points and focus on those good points. So I'm hoping that, uh, that that's what we should do and, and use it in a, in a great way to help the industry um, show the wider UK public how good this industry is. That's it for this edition. Join us next month for more UK PV news.